Despite the important watershed functions of forests, in Kenya, they are under constant threat from the expansion of agriculture and unregulated extraction of timber and fuel wood. The GEF SGP has provided several organizations with support to promote the sustainable management of forests and to reduce their degradation. The Mukogoro Community Forestry Association has signed a management agreement with the Kenya Forest Service to jointly manage the Mukogoro Forest that is shared by four group ranches occupied by Maasai pastoralists. Today we are here in Mukogoro Forest, um, basically to sign a management agreement with the community of Mukogoro. Mukogoro is a very unique forest, it's a dry land uh, forest. Uh, with a very unique um, conservation strategy. This is one of the forests in this country that uh, communities live within, in the greens, like where we are uh, standing today. And we have had a long association with the local communities here in terms of managing these forests. They have assisted the government in the managing of the forests. The Forest Act of 2005 uh, requires that uh, forest fringe communities are involved in the management of forests. And the way that is done is through development of a management plan followed by a management agreement. As the project coordinator of Maumsi, I wrote a proposal to SGP. We were approved by the NSC in Nairobi and they give us funds. We've done a number of activities. One is the grazing management. The other one was just the, the institutionalization of the CV, whereby we bought the computers. We are also able also to train the committee members on the specific matters related to the management of the forest. And also today, in this session, we are also able to sign a management agreement to, to, through the same funds that have been allocated by the SGP. <laughs> ambaye ilikuwa ni ya kusaini agreement. Hiyo shale ilikuwa safi kwa sababu ilisainiwa na wananchi na watu wa serikali. Forest Department wamefanya kazi nzuri kwa sababu tumelinda huu msitu tukiwa tuna serikali lakini leo tuliyasa kushikana na wao na kufanya kazi moja. I'm very very pleased with the community of Mkogodo because they've kept the forest intact. They've not interfered with it at all at all. They've utilized it the way they should. And I think uh, they need to be commended as a community. So they are going to police the forest. They will not allow external negative forces to come and interfere with the forest. And uh, they will continue enjoying forest resources the way they've been doing in the past. That is uh, getting the, their honey, their herbs, grazing their animals there, and, and generally coexisting with the forest. The award-winning Kijabe Environment Volunteers Community-Based Organization, Kenvo, has received support from SGP to promote the conservation of the Kikuyu Escarpment Forests. Uh, Kijabe Environment Volunteer is a community-based organization. It has its headquarters at Radi Sub County. And this group was started way back in 1996, they about. So the young people in this region, they wanted to do something for their community. And therefore we gathered and we decided that we have to do something in terms of stopping the, the deforestation that was going on here. So we decided again to have um, a program to educate the people and tell them the forest belongs to them. We came up with a number of activities. One is uh, what we call forest po uh, monitoring, where we uh, use one Sunday, get in the forest, 
uh, document what's happening and and bring that information to the local forester. We also had uh, we started uh, bird watching. Uh, this is to connect with the nature. Then we had a school program. This is again to have a culture of development uh, in terms of a, a holistic development for a, a young person where, who is appreciating environment, who is also getting um, the education part of it and also uh, serving the community. So just to point out on what ZF small grant program has been doing for Kenvo for this uh, year, it has funded the capacity building where some of the money will be used in developing the PFM, that is participatory forest management plants, for two forests that, is, that are the only ones remaining that do not have their PFMPs. That is the Goto Forest and Mogoga. Kenvo has a technical advisory committee that is overseeing uh, implementing of, of the project and more so of the developing of the PFMPs. So the GF SGP program is also helping in doing organization capacity assessment for CFAs so that the different CFAs can build their uh, capacity in the management of the organizations because there is a lot of uh, need to develop the capacity of CFAs. The next thing is about there will be a lot of exchange programs whereby different uh, CFAs visit another CFA so that the CFAs can learn from one another. The Upper Iwaso Nada Water Resources Users Association is promoting the rehabilitation of riverbanks and the planting of suitable indigenous trees on farms to reduce soil erosion. Support to the Dakacha Woodland Conservation Group is going towards the conservation of forests at the mouth of the Athi Sabaki River in Kalifi County. With SGP support, the Mombasa Kilindini Community Forest Association has developed a participatory management plan for the mangrove forests around Mombasa. The Friends of Karura Forest are providing support to communities surrounding the Karura Forest so that they can benefit from sustainably managing the forest in collaboration with other stakeholders. Another award winner, Ngare Dare Forest Community Trust, has an active ecotourism initiative that generates revenue for the community. Founded by world-renowned Nobel Peace Prize winner, Professor Wangari Mathai, the Green Belt Movement is continuing her legacy by supporting communities to plant trees and conserve the existing indigenous forests. The legacy of the rich Professor Wangari Mathai lives on in the work that we are currently doing. We are committed to do environmental conservation, do community empowerment, and improve their livelihoods. And we have three thematic areas. Uh, we have tree planting and water harvesting. We have climate change and corporates. And we have gender livelihoods and advocacy. And uh, the Green Belt Movement is still doing tree planting. In our key water towers, that is Mount Kenya, Abadeas, Churangani, Mau, and Elgon. And we are mobilizing communities adjacent to these ecosystems to conserve the environment and to have better livelihoods because they will have the resources they need for their families. Currently, we have a program funded by the Global Environmental Facility Small Grant Program in the Upper Tana. It's a program that is touching on Mount Kenya ecosystem and Abadea forest ecosystem. What we are doing, we are doing forest restoration, reduced forest deforestation and degradation, 
and we are also promoting payment for ecosystem services to restore local biodiversity and to conserve the ecosystem in general and that they plant the right trees on their farms and we are encouraging them to do agroforestry trees because they have more than one benefit they can do timber they can do firewood they can give them fruits they can give them fodder name them and also we encourage them to do riparian conservation and what we, are, we hope to achieve in this project is to have an ecosystem that is protected and conserved and communities that are empowered to support themselves and to defend their rights and also to defend the resources that are in these areas where they live. And at the end of the day, they will have better livelihoods. The Sadana Forest Organization is promoting agroforestry among communities in Samburu County. I'm a long-term volunteer in Sadana Forest and the assistant project director. I come from Germany, um, but I stayed here in Kenya since October. Um, with our planting technique, because most of our trees are so healthy, we have very little problem with pests usually. We have some termite action going on um, because we mulch all of our trees um, to keep it um, from to keep the water from evaporating and keep the soil moist and nice. Um, so the termites do come in in the mulch, um, but they usually don't attack the healthy trees. Um, what they do instead, they help to build um, more soil, more organic matter, and they can also create tunnel systems through which um, air and water can uh, penetrate into the soil. And other nutrients held inside the charcoal. And you put that with the tree when you plant in the base and that helps feed the tree for a good period of time. And also when it rains that water, it'll, the charcoal will hold even more water and then when it's dry the charcoal slowly releases the water to the trees. We come back in the evening, usually after four o'clock because it's the best time to plant. Um, so the tree is not subjected to the full sun of the day on its first day. And then we, we plant the tree inside the tube. We'll use a bottle, something like this, some simple holes in it for irrigation. This will go preferably if it's uh, you know, on the uphill side, so when the water comes out it'll drip more directly under the roots. And then that'll sit there and the tree will get planted beside it uh, with a mixture of um, just, just compost and topsoil. Uh, mainly uh, some, maybe some compost topsoil, some goat manure. There's always a good little additive as well, maybe 10% goat manure. Depending on the tree and, and conditions, but the, the simple idea with this is you have a, it has a lid. You fill it with water, the water will come out. You put the lid on it, put the lid on tight, and the vacuum will keep the water inside.